Kristen and a while back I showed a video in a video when I had gone to a party of a friend of mine some hand pickle roll-ups and I had several people say what are those and um, I've, I talked about it to a couple people and they wanted to see a video on how you make those this is something that I brought once to um, where I work right now and I have pretty much any time we have to bring food this is one of the things they like me to bring so it sounds strange but it is really very good you know there's a lot of sodium so it's probably not the healthiest for you but it is what it is you don't need to eat the whole plate that's what I say so um, it seems fairly simple it's ham cream cheese and a pickle but I thought I would just do a really quick video and show you the tips and tricks that I have learned over the years of making these that make it a lot easier and so that they turn out a little bit better so truly all you need is a jar of pickles and I like to use the kosher dill spears you need some boiled ham from the, the deli and some cream cheese. I always have two just in case I get a little excessive with my cream cheese. So And I usually like to have that softened, softened so it's brought up to room temperature. It's easier to spread. And then um, the other thing, the other tip that I will do, if you don't eat boiled ham like as a regular on a sandwich, which we don't, I will go to get my pickles first, I'll count how many pickles there are on the bottom and then I'll go and ask for that many pieces of ham because that's the kind of crazy person that I am. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drain these and then um, I will come back and show you the process. Okay, so I have my pickles drained now and I also use some paper toweling. Now you could use a flour sack if, you're, if you prefer like a lint-free towel or whatever. This is just what I use. So I will take my piece of ham and I put it on the paper toweling and I just get the excess water off of it. And I'll reuse this, this paper towel several times. So I put that on there and then I'm gonna get some cream cheese. And how much or how little you want is gonna just going to just kind of depend on your preference. And you're just gonna evenly spread that on here. And I like to leave the side that is going to be, I'm going to roll it this way. I like to leave that side, just, um, I don't leave it empty because I want it to, you know, have some cream cheese that's going to act like the glue, but you don't want to have too much over there or it's going to squish out. It. It's going to get a little bit more here. And then a lot of times to get it off the knife, I just put my little finger under there. These are the tips and tricks that I have learned. So having done that, I'm now going to take a pickle, and I have a separate paper towel that is my pickle paper towel. I know. And I do the same thing as I did with the ham, I just kind of blot it off. Stick that in your ham, and you're simply going to roll it up. If I let him, Bob would eat it just like this but I don't. So you'll probably, I don't know if you saw, I have a bowl right here. I always cut off the ends and those are what I would call the nerds. And those go into my bowl. And Bob eats those usually. And then you just cut and I use a very sh well sharpened knife and try to get them the same ish thickness. And then you're going to put them on your plate, like so. Like that. So I'll show you one more. And I also will usually, let me just grab another one. I usually have a paper towel that I just clean this off in between. Because I'm a crazy person like that. I just like to th keep things very neat and tidy. Okay, so the cream cheese is on there. We're going to take a pickle. This one actually looks like it's a little bit short, so I'm going to grab a different one. Put that in there. Just and make sure you do it tightly so that it stays together. Roll it up. Cut off the ends, put them in the nerd bowl. And there you have your hamburger roll-ups. 
Now what I will do is I will stick a um, toothpick in these and serve them like that. So you can just and I, make sure it's important to stick it in the really tough kind of rind part of the pickle so that when they pull it up, they get all of it. They don't just get part of it. So I'm going to come up close and I'll show you what they look like. So that is what they look like up close. You just stick a toothpick in that part of the pickle right there so that it holds tight when they pull it up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. This usually will take me about a half hour to do all of these, depending on what else I'm doing at the same time. So it's a little bit of a tedious task, but people very, very much enjoy these. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these, and then I'll show you the plate when I'm done. Okay, so this is what they look like. I zoomed in a little bit so that you guys can see without me being like all up in your face. So this is what they look like, and then like I said, when I, I'm not serving them right now, so I'm going to saran wrap them and put them in the fridge. But normally I would stick a toothpick in there and then have at it. So that is the hand pickle roll-up that we, I've never had them in, when I lived in Pennsylvania, I had never heard of these. Um, the first time I had them was when I, you know, had come back to Wisconsin when, after we lived back here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you will try these for yourselves. If you have any questions, leave them below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.